so welcome again guys to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to look at how we can manipulate images in laravel 8 so there's a library that you are going to use mm, and first i have installed a new laravel project and i'm running it on the local host 8000 uh, if you go to the ht docs directory in my computer we have this project that i've just named image well because we are doing image manipulation so you can name it anything you want so uh, since you have it there's nothing i've done yet and the first thing we want to move very fast and the first thing you're going to create is a, a upload form this one is going to be used to upload the image and then we are going to we are going to write uh, the code where we can upload that we can upload the image then in the process of uploading the image you have to manipulate this image we can add text and we can resize and do other manipulations okay so let's get started by writing uh, by writing the form so i'll just go to the resources directory inside the views uh, resources and then views i'll just do a form that file i just call it upload form dot blade dot php and inside this form i'm going to to use bootstrap cdn so that we can use that to up to style our form and if, when you go to the bootstrap cdn.com you get a css here i'm just going to copy that then paste uh here and also i'm going to get bootstrap uh, bootstrap javascript here we are going to paste it below the body tag and just here inside the script tag and that is what we have we have to do and then bootstrap is going to work so if we create a container, let's just create a container so that our form will be contained inside that container. And then we are going to create a row. And then we do call call lg10. And then call lg10 offset 2 so those are the classes that we need uh, if you are familiar with bootstrap you know what i'm doing um, so first let's do call lg10 and then inside there we do call and just see again you can add that class call lg2 lg call lg offset of 2 so we are doing that so that this div can be centered um, and then here we can now do our form so we just do form and then okay it's not a class it's actually a form so just do a form tag and then action is going to be the root that you are going to create in our web.php file and then we just do inputs uh, so the first input is going to be the title the image title you're going to be text and the name is going to be title and then you have to add another class bootstrap class of um, form control and this is for styling our for styling our image and not our image it's for styling the tag the input tag then i'm copying that and pasting again and this is going to be a description i'm going to give it the name of desk like that 
and then we are going to do another input and you are going to call it a uh, file okay the type is going to be file because this is the one that is going to be uh, to, 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 to allow us to choose the image from the from from the window explorer so we are just going to call it image okay so and then you have the submit button so just do input type is submit and then you have to give it a um, class of btn btn success so basically this is what you have to do on our phone but then you have other like that um, but remember that since you are going to upload the form we need an attribute called n type you have to use multi-part stock form data and that is uh, a must if you are going to upload the image otherwise you are going to get um, you are going to get errors when uploading the image and then since it is laravel you also have to to include the csrf token so just do at csrf you have to include it like that otherwise every time you try to submit is going to to return an error that the page has expired so this is our form and how do we access it so for us to access it we'll, we'll have to go to the routes directory and then web.php and create a route that is going to render that form and we just I copy that first below but this time we are going to use the controller so we can give it the name of our image then upload that is the route and then we are going to use image we are going to create another image uh, another controller that we are going to call image controller so just do app is going to be in the app directory and then http and then controllers followed by uh, the name of the controller so the name of the controller is going to be called image controller and then the method that you are going to use is going to be called upload so you are going to create this controller and create this, me me this method in that uh, controller class and we have to name it uh, we have to name it so that we can use this name in the action uh, in the action attribute of our form the form that we just created so to do that you just do name and then i just give it a name of image dot upload dot form so remember this is the form so you can name it anything but this is the name of that uh, form and remember this route is get so you'll have to create another one which will be post and the post is the one that is going to handle the the request that comes from that form so we paste that change the route name to post and then can remain like this but then you can uh, you can just uh, remove this so that it remains image dot upload so what are we going to include in our in our form we are not going to include the get method you are going to include the post method so this is the name that you are going to use in the action attribute of our form so let's just copy that mm, go back to our form here and then in the action section, in the action attribute, I just paste that. And remember the method here, yeah, we, we can't forget the method is going to be post. And that is what you have to do in the form. So if we go to the, to our application in the browser and visit uh, that route, um, which is uh, stroke slash image slash upload, there is an error okay the controller does not exist because you've not created it remember so you have to create that controller you have to create that controller so what you're going to do is to do to go to the terminal and just type php artisan make and what you're going to make is controller and the name of the controller is image controller okay that way 
and that controller has been created but remember we use the method is a method method that you've used here but we've not uh, created in our web.php so you have the here you have to change upload form this is going to just return the the form file here it's going to return this file right so that's why you're calling it upload form but this one is going to handle the upload so you have to go to the main controller and create these methods so let's save the the web.php file and then go to image controller image controller is here so just write that method public function and we call it upload form and remember this is going just to return the to return this view here upload form so we're going to do return view and that view is the um, upload underscore form like that so that is when we visit that uh, image we, if we refresh right now after doing that it's going to now give us the form okay you can see now the bootstrap is the one that is responsible for for, for styling like this but as you can see we need some space up there so we'll go back to the form and then we are going to add a class in this controller you're going to contain you're going to add a class ma margin top of five and then each of these tags you need some space between them so you're going to add a class of margin top of two like that all of them all right yeah that way so let's have that and go back refresh and see how it has been styled and now there we have our form and then maybe we can do a h2 you mm, can do a h2 here and call it um mm, call it image upload form like that so let's just save that go back and refresh and now we have uh, it is well styled so you have the image upload form and then we have the uh, we have the these ones here the title the description then the select or uh, choose file okay so so after that i think we can do placeholders you can instead of uh we can do placeholders here so the first placeholder um, i'm just going to say enter title and then the second one enter description And then the third going to say enter mm, select the image well that is the image you even don't need the placeholder you don't need it so let's just remove that and uh, so if we go back now this is our form it's a bit uh, style drive better than the way it used to look before we we put those classes so after this now this is the form now we have to, uh, to write the functionality for uploading the the image every time somebody selects uh, and hits on this submit button so we have to change submit to to maybe from submit to maybe upload upload yeah so this is our form now we also need another we also need another page where we are going to display our images but that is not important for now so uh, after doing that you have to move to the functionality where now this image is going to be 
uploaded and then in the process of uploading you have to do some manipulation like resizing adding text and stuff, things like that so let's go to the controller and remember that when this when that upload button is hit uh, this method is going to be called and that method is upload method and is on the image controller so you have to go to the image controller and create that method so just do public function um, upload public function upload so this is the method that is going to handle the, the upload so the first thing you have to validate so that uh, we don't start writing the code before making sure that the, the user sent the, the title, the description and the image in the request. So the first thing you have to do is to do, but remember you have to pass request here, you have to pass request, you have to pass request like that, and then I'm not going to explain a lot, um, much of most of the things I'm going to do here because I really I did that uh, tutorial in the last uh, the last video I uploaded. I was talking about how to upload image in, Mal in Laravel, so you can just check that video in my channel. Mm, so the first thing you have to do validation. So just do if if not. So it will be if not request image. So the first thing is that we are checking if the image has been sent to the request and then or if not request title title or if not image description so what you are going to do just return back return back like that so if somebody clicks on the submit button uh, submit button or upload button without uh, entering the image the, the the selecting the image or entering the title or description we're going to just take it back to the form to the to the image upload form okay so let's try it and see so if we try to hit an upload button it says that image that upload is not found oh there is something we did we did not do right so we'll go back to the form and the action here we have to, to use the, the route helper. So you just do route and then we have to do route and then you are going to paste that. So it should be like this. So you just save, back, save that, go back to the browser and refresh. Let's just go back again, refresh and try submitting. And is it returns us back? Why is it returning us back to the form? And th the reason is that we did not enter anything here. Okay, but that is what that is not what you want to do. You want to cross this information. So what you have to do is to write. Um, so you have to do. We don't have a model, so you have to write a model. And we will have to create a model and then connect our application to to, to co connect our application to to the database. So let's create database first. So we go to the local host and then new. And then database name, I'm just going to call it image. And just hit on create button. So the database has been created. So I'm going to go back to the code and open the .env file and look for the database configuration so the database here I uh, call it image then the user is root and the password is um, blank like that you just leave it blank so we have already done that now let's create our our model so just do php artisan make 
model and the name of the model just call it uh, image mm, just call it image upload so I've just called the, the I'm just calling it image upload mm. okay let me call it image detail so remember now if you call it image detail the table is going to be called image details and then I'm going to create with the migration so that I can set up the, the, the table the rows so just do as uh, you have to include this and it has been created and after that we can access that um, migration by going to the database directory and then migrations and then you have the last migration here and as you can see image details table we are going to add so table and then it's going to be string and that is going to be title and then you have to add table string and that string going to be desk uh, standing for description and then you also have to add table string and that is going to be image yeah so we have um we have our migration here we have already written the, the the columns that we need now we have to migrate so let's save this first and after that we'll migrate that table by doing create okay, artisan migrate migrate and what this is going to do is to to write all our migrations into into the into the database that we just created so if we go back and look at that database if we refresh you find that it has been populated with those tables and so our database called image And here we go now, we have failed job uh, table and then image details, migration and other. So, so now we have our table and our application connected to the database. So we can now continue. So what you're going to do is to import that uh, model here by using, by doing use app models and then the name of the model is image detail. now we can use it so here we can do um, image d so that will stand for image detail is equals to image detail we have to do new image detail okay and then so image d we have title and the title is, is going to be request title so that is the title the value of the title that will come through the request and then the image d and we have the description is going to be request and then description so that the description that will be sent through the request and then uh, we have another image d and then mm, image so what is going what is this image going to be remember we can just uh, do the request image that one you have to upload that image first so in this place you are going to upload the image so to upload the image first you have to do image is equals to image is equal to the file that will come through the request which is request and then image 
And remember that this image comes with their various functions and methods to manipulate to get the details of the image. For example, you can get the image extension, can get the image name, the image size, and the image mind type. So the image name name is equals to image and then we have a function called get client original name so this is going to get the name of the image then you can also get extension and the extension is going to be if we need extension if we need the mime type but i don't want to go into those details right now so after getting the image name what we are going to do is that we are going to to give it a new name just the variable new name and it's going to be i will concatenate time the time that image has been uploaded with the image name so I just do time and that is going to give me the current time the current timestamp then i concatenate it with the with the image name like that right like that so this is the image name so after doing that we need the upload directory so the directory where we are going to upload the image and that brings to us uh, the, the, the another thing where we have to link to link the storage directory and the public directory so this you can you can just uh, store images in the storage directory you have to link with the public and then we are going to store static files in the public directory so what we're going to do is to go back to the terminal and then we do php artisan storage and then link like that so this is going to link and um, to get a link uh, between the between the storage directory and the public directory in that if we go to the public directory right now we are going to get a uh, we are going to get a shortcut to the to the we are going to get a shortcut to to the storage directory and this is the shortcut here you can see here so inside this storage you're going to create another directory and we are going to call it images like that and that is the only thing you have to do there and now the path the path here are going to store that image is going to be um, that's going to be inside the storage and then uh, images like that so inside the storage and image and we're going to get this directly here so after that uh what's uh, the only thing that you remain is now to move that image to move image from the temporary directory to the to this directory now and uh, we have the we have the we have the method move so we'll do image what are we moving we are moving the image this image so we do image move so where are we moving it we are moving it to the path we are moving to this directory here which we called it path and how are we naming it we are naming it giving it the new name and the new name the new name the, the variable that we just created here to stand for the new name and then after that uh this now the image d dot is going to be uh name this is going to be the new name so this image is going to be stored as the new name the name is going to be changed and for us to access it we access it using this new name okay so after that we save and that is all so just do image d and then save so that is uh that is it so if we do that the image is going to, to be uploaded uh, but after that remember let's test it first and see so let's just go to the form uh, and you just do my image and then this is my image and then i just choose that image So just select that image mm, but i want to do something here so I'll just do after saving i want to return back so I'll just do return so I'll just do return back so every time it uploads it's going to return back to the uh, form upload um, of the image upload form 
because we've not created the forms, the page where we are going to display all the images. So after saving that, let's hit an upload button. And I said saying that the general error is that uh, image doesn't have a default value. Okay, so I can see where the error was. And uh, the error was here. As you can see, image name, image, you did not do image, 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 and then is equals to the new name. So this is what we did, we, we were omitting. So after doing that, I know it is going on, it's going to go on successfully. So let's just save that. I go back to the browser. Okay, let's just refresh. And then we are going to do it again. So I'll just give it a new name and a new description and choose the image. Mm, so let's select this one and hit on upload button. And you see it has redirected us back to the image upload form. So that means that the image has been uploaded successfully. And if we go to the database and then look for that database called images and hit on the image details, you'll find out that you have that image saved in the database. And this is the image title, the image description, and the, the image itself. So you can see the image is a concatenation of time. Yeah the time and then the, the name of the image right so you have a concatenation of time and then the, the name so the time is the current image and the reason why we are doing that is we don't want a situation where have two people are uploading two images at the same time and they are uploading two images and these images are going to be saved the same and when we are trying to retrieve that image are going, going to get an error so we have now we have the upload functionality the next thing we have to, to see a way we can display the images that are displayed that are uploaded in the in the browser so we're going to create another file in the views directory and we're going to call it gallery dot blood dot php and then after that we are just going to copy the same code in the upload form I'm just going to copy the same code here and then you're going to paste it in that gallery.blade.php right and then after that we just can just call uh, our gallery and then you just remove this form So we are just going to remove this from here. And then this is going to be raw. And then after raw, we are just going to do call LG3. And just remove that. So we are going to do call LG3. And then, uh, so here is where we are going to display our images. Okay, in this day, in this dir. So you have the H3, that is the image title image title and then img that is going to be the image and then we have the um, p that is the image description so let's just have that but then you have to create another another method that's going to display this form so we are going to to get it out and we are going to call it gallery We are just going to call it gallery. So we're just going to copy this route. And then we paste, we call it. It's going to be a get route. And then we're going to be image slash gallery. And then we're going to change this to gallery. 
and then image dot gallery like that and that is what you have to do on the uh, web dot blade dot php but then after that we have to create this method called gallery which is going to return that uh, gallery dot blade dot php file and we are going to create in the image controller so let's head back to the image controller and then create that method so public public function mm, gallery mm, and then so the first thing is that we have to fetch all the images so we'll do images is equals to image detail and then you're just going to get latest you're going to get latest images and then get like that so that is going to return the latest uh, images uh, but in the in the so in the when the the in the we are going we are using the so we are sorting use the latest so meaning that uh, the older images will come last so after that what you are going to do is just to return that view and we'll go do return view and that view is gallery but then you are going to compact so compact means that you are going to send together with the, these images a uh, variable so just do compact images and that is it so that is it with our that is it with our controller and the, the web dot uh, web dot php so if we visit that route image slash gallery if we just do image slash gallery um, we are going to get that we are going to get this hard-coded text that you just put there but then remember this one has to be it has to be automatic or dynamic so what you are going to do is to head back since you have already sent that variable images we are going to look through the images and then we are going to display them here so let's just cut this for the time being and do at if if count so if we have the images I just do if count images is, is is greater than one so if that we have more than one in more than zero in, we have, if we have one and more images uh, we are going to to run this code then here we have to do else so what else you are going to do so if there are no images we are going to do um, h3 and we do no images found in our gallery but then if you have the images we want to 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 look through the images and display each so you do for each um, for each images as image and then we end for each end for each there and then we paste that code so the first one is going to be the image title so you are going to do image and then title and after that you are going to do here um, um, asset and then storage um, images and then we concatenate it that with the uh, image name so image but remember we named it image so that column is image like that and then after that alt we can call it image title whatever we want to call it. but then let's just leave it blank and then here we have to do image description and do image and then description that way so if all went on well we are going to get our image the image that we uploaded on the on the here in our browser and you see we have the that image here right but 
uh, yes you can see this image is too large and i think that is now that brings us to the to the to the today's um, whatever i want to do today and that is how to manipulate images so this image is too large we could have uh, just put uh, maybe for example if you want to resize you can just restrict the height by doing height um, 200 and then we did 200 and if we save that and go back and refresh you see that the image has been resized but then we don't want to do it in, to do it that we just want it working away that every time the image is uploaded you have to resize it before saving it again so what we are going to use is a library that is called you know in intervention image so this is a laravel this is a library you can use in laravel it's called intervention image and the first thing is that you have to install it so you can just do php composer dot file require this or you can do composer if you have a composer installed in your machine you just do composer require intervention image so if you just copy this and go to the terminal and do composer and then require that and hit enter it's going to start the installation process and this is going to install this uh is going to install this package and then after installing let's just go through the installation guide mm. so that is the only thing you need to have since you are using laravel uh, so from laravel 5.4 uh, i think uh, there's a uh, discovery of packages so you don't need to to update the app dot um, config and then up that php file don't have to do that right um, so you have this you have this you have to do that you have to do that so let's just do it if maybe you're using laravel 5.4 you are going to do that too you are going to copy this intervention image class this one just copy it and then after copying um, and so just copy this and then after copying that you go to you go to the code and then you look for the inside the config inside the config you have app.php and you look for um, you scroll down up to the uh, framework providers and then down here you are going to paste that and then you save after that aliases you have to go back and you copy this and then you paste that in the aliases section so down here you paste that so you, you, as you can see it is a last image so after doing that you save um, but after saving you have to do php artisan so the file the the packet has already been installed right it has already been installed and so after installing that package you have to go to you have to go to the terminal and do php artisan vendor publish so to publish the the package files so you have to do php artisan vendor and then you publish this you can either do this and or you can just do vendor publish and publish all the files or select that one from the the list of files that that you receive
So we have to copy this. Just copy this. And then go to the terminal and publish that package it has been published so how do we use it to maybe the first thing how do we use it to manipulate our images how do you use it to maybe resize and the first thing is that you have to import it in our controller by doing use image so remember the alias is image so you have to use the image and then uh, at what point are we going to are we going to resize the image we are going to resize the image at this point before that image is saved to the database and what you have to do if we go to the usage and i have this package i have this code i wrote sometimes back where i used to resize the images so if we look at this the first thing is that you have to you have after after that image has been moved here here Mm, we have to do a uh, image make and then you have to include the path that image exact image the path right so let me show you just i just do image to resize and that is equals to um, image so remember you are now using image package and then yeah it has a method called make and that method we have to pass there the the path so remember this is the path so you can just do you can just do path dot new name like that so it's going to get that image okay so this is going to get that image and then after that that is going to get that image and then after that we have to we, we can now uh, we can now apply the resize um we can apply now resizing a uh, functionality and so by to do that we just do resize and just do image to upload an uh, image to resize so you have to resize it, we do resize and inside there we have to include the dimensions that we want so you can let, let the 300 by 300 like that okay so first that is the resizing and then after resizing so let me not add text as at now we have the add text functionality so we'll just save that image back to the to where it is uh, to be saved so what you are going to do is to save that image back to the place where it was uh, moved so just do dot save and where are we saving it and we are saving it in the path dot new name so if we do this one let's just save and then test it so if we go to the browser and then we let's just refresh and then after refreshing we just enter the image title we just then we can just give it a new title and then this is image and then we select image but remember that this image is going to be resized 300 by 300 and that is uh, the the dimension that we defined in the code so let's for example um, upload let's for example upload um, let's upload this so I want you to see that the, the dimension is 1280 by 720. So that is the dimension. But if our code is working, it is going to be resized to 300 by 300. So let's just click on upload a button. And yeah, it has returned us to the image upload. 
but let's just change something in the code so that every time we upload it will not return us back but it's going to redirect to to so let's just return redirect and why it should redirect us to slash image slash gallery like that so it should redirect us to slash image slash gallery every time we upload a new image so let's I do another I upload and then let's just go to the desktop and get some images there mm, let's I upload this logo and hit and upload and you see it takes us back to the gallery but what do you see what you see is that these other images were not able to be resized but these images you are uploading now they are very consistent the dimension this one is 300 by 300 this one is 300 by 300 300 by 300 so if we delete these other images every image that we are going to uh, to upload is going to be 300 by 300 but we can still change uh, the size let's just change to 100 by 100 and upload another image so that you can see that it is working in resizing the images and so if we go back to the form um, just uh, get another image and this is going to be smaller to be smaller compared to the other images that you've uploaded so let's uh, select and let's select this one and hit an upload button and you see this one has been resized to 100 by 100 and these others are 300 by 300 and this one were not resized so basically that is how you resize the images mm, and then we have another functionality that uh, before um, saving the image you can also um, add the text in this functionality you have the text function you have this text method and you have to that text you can just the de de you just define text and then where it is going to be located on the image you can just do the text i think that is enough so do this function if you want to add font and, and the font you want to the size and the, the size of that that text uh, let me just show you and so if we go to our code before saving just here after resizing and let's get let's take it back to 300 by 300 and then before saving we just do um, image to resize and then we, we add text and that text is uh, we can go we can call it um, resized let's just do resized resized like that and then where, where do you want to write it and then here we have color can be color white but let's use black i just use color black and this one is the size the size let's just do 50. And font size we can do let's do let's just do 200 and then we can center we can center that text so let's just save that and then after saving we go and upload another image and so just an image title so image with the text and then this image has text has text written on it and then you can just choose the image and 
let's choose this one and hit an upload button and there you go you see this resized so we have that text written on the image resized right You can add, let's add font weight. Okay, let's just try to give it the size of 3 and see if it is going to be enlarged. Yes, this, the text is a bit smaller. So, just go back and upload another image. 